Actually, whose favorite board is the Pi Factor? Anybody have that in their favorite? I actually like that one the best, because I like, when it's tough, you have to work your way. You feel like you've accomplished something. Like you've went up here, they stop you, and you're down here, and you're, so it's pretty cool. It's a good feeling that when you get by a tough Pi Factor. Right. Or it's a bad feeling when you have a world record going and they kill you. Yeah. Either way. So, I didn't show the first, so I didn't have a screenshot of where you begin. Um, you begin on the left side. I, I can't remember. Is it the left of this left? Yeah, right there? there. Right here? Yeah. So, this works in reverse of the rivets. The side that Mario is on is the side that the fireballs appear on the screen. So when I'm on this, you appear right here, right when the screen starts. So I do a, a quick jump. It's whatever mechanism you use to stall. You want, there's three fireballs, I think, on the first level. Is it three or four? Yeah, then it goes three. to four. Then it goes to four, then there's five. So you wait till they all come out of this oil can, and they'll come out on the left side when if you're on the left. If they come out on the left, then your hope is they kind of stay up here, and then you can have all this free space to jump over, and, and all you have to do is get to the top. This Donkey Kong doesn't actually harm you, it's just up there trying to be a menace. But you just go over here and up, and then you're, you're done once you get to the very top. So. Stall until all the fireballs come on this side, then you can go up to this position. So I notice I notice you do a jump before Yeah. When you first the, start the level you jump and then you pause a little bit before you get to the prize. Yeah, I might pop pause just because I can tell sometimes there's a uh, straggler fireball that was like caught in the fire in the oil can, didn't quite get out oh, very fast. Okay. So I kinda of wait, I'm kinda of looking for all those to come out. So I'll look at that and then that's when I make a yeah, so there is a purse right here. He's talking there. There's a purse right, right here. Right, there's a prize right there, yeah. That you'll that you'll get as you cross here. So I'm waiting. They all get on this side of the screen, then I'll go across to the right half and go up this ladder. So now I'm here. Now here's where it's not very good position right here. If you see here, there's fireballs that are preventing me from going up this route and, and going up to the top. And there's a pie under uh, coming onto the screen. So this this conveyor belt actually reverses directions. So sometimes you may not know what direction, if there's no pies on the conveyor belt, does anyone know what they do to see which direction it's going? Does anyone have a good way of seeing that? The, see the belt moves. I look at these little pins here. So if you, if you see this right here, this will be rotating in the way. So if it's rotating this right way, the belt's moving left. So, so you can't see the actual belt. So if you're coming up here and you don't know which direction this belt's moving, I look at this pin. But it reverses direction. You don't think about that? You just figure out once you get up <laughs> see which way it goes. Yeah, that's the first time I've got. Yeah, because you don't know. If you get up there and if you know it's going this way, then you can run with the belt and get a jump start on that. Okay. So right now I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to just go up here, so I might, I think I might grab the hammer on the next screen. So let's see what I do. Could you have went the other way? I could have gone the other way too, that's an option here. But they all of a sudden disappeared, I don't know why. No, this is a different wow. screen. But this is the, the way that it's supposed to work, and the way that you hope it works, is that they have all this clearing here. You're, you're free to go up to this point and then jump this gap. So that's the, the big hope that you hope to see. All right, go ahead. So if you, you can see, if they're all out of your way, all you do is go up, and then this is the one thing that will cause fits, this ha uh, extension ladder, which is going up and down, and then there's fireballs that can start working their way underneath your feet. And the and pies, you, and the pies. And the pies that come out. Now here's the other thing, on this board, over here on the right side, there's pies that come out. Yeah. And I've hit my foot on there a few yeah. times. Yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, that's another yeah. thing that's dangerous at this point. Um, so right here, I'm hoping that this ladder will stay up and I just walk right up to the, to the top. But, so go ahead and change it. Okay, so pretend I got up to that top. This is another thing that would happen potentially. If you can't get to this point, 
then you might have to grab the hammer. Now, I don't usually want to grab it unless I'm really point pressing, but because it's when you have on a conveyor belt and your hammer is going to be gone at any instant of time, you could end up with a fireball coming down. They seem to know when the hammer is going to end. Have you ever noticed? <laughs> So the fireball could come down and meet you right, right at the, when the hammer disappears. So if I have the hammer, see the belt, the pie is coming onto this screen, so the belt's going this way. So what I will do is I'll just tap the joystick at this point, keeping myself right at this point. I want to stay right here. I want to stay next to a ladder. See this ladder here? So in case the fireball comes down, when I, miss, when I lose the ladder, I can dart right down here. I want to be right in position where I can get out of harm's way. Huh, okay. Yeah, question. Uh, I noticed that in the late conveyor belt screens, the bonus is real generous. You know, 7,000 right there. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, unless I'm in trouble, I don't bother with the hammers. I go straight to the top as quick as I can. Oh, yeah. If I have a free pass to go right up here, I will do that every single time. Yeah, exactly. So I don't try to mess with the hammers unless I'm stopped. Yeah, good point. And there is another hammer here that's kind of tricky because they don't always, you get it just in an emergency. If I'm over here and I right. think I'm going to get trapped, I'll grab it. But I don't grab it to get points necessarily. You scare them off. Yeah, just kind of scare them off. But the problem is when you hit the fireballs here, they regenerate again and they're on, they're on the side of the screen that you're on, so it doesn't really clear it up. I'll just try to bide some time with that. All right, next screen. Okay, so I cleared that pie, then I, here's where you might have to go onto the left side. So that's what I've done. I've gone up, jumped over, and I'm waiting for this pie to, to, to clear so I can go up to the top platform here. So let's see what the next slide is, if it's not over. Oh, go, go back one. Um, so has anyone ever been able to jump this fire oil can? I, no. I've done it actually to, I mean, for fun and also to save my skin at one time. So it's really tricky. You gotta get a good running start and jump at the very last second and then you land on this side, but this belt's going to the left. <laughs> so you gotta be right dead on, right, the best jump here, and then you gotta be moving right and barely clear. So if you're ever stuck between here and here, and there's a fireball coming at you, you might try it. Can you point press off that fireball, or the? You can point uh, press off the pies, even. Has anyone done that? Off the, the oven thing, can you oh, get off points off? Oven. Yeah. Um, by just standing there? Jump right next to it, right? Yeah. Can you get points the on that? I think you probably could, but the danger is when you land, you're going to be being sucked into the... Barbecued. Yeah, so it's kind of a tough... Uh, and then plus they're going to be coming at you. It's not. You can't really go there or sit there very long. Um, okay, any questions with the pie factory? There's no real pattern except when it gets... You know, wait till the the fireballs enter, then try to go directly up to the top on the right, and then if that doesn't work, then you're just going to have to uh, improv, improvise. Okay, any questions with, no pie factory questions, okay, any questions with Donkey Kong in general that I didn't get to? There's a song when you get the hammer, how do you know when the, there is, sometimes it's going to end. Ends on the, I'm trying to think of it. It kind of ends on that one note. But Does it do it twice? Or? I kind of have a good idea when it's going to end. But on the um, when I'm on the barrels, I'm always hitting the jump button when I'm hitting a bar barrel. Because if it ends, then that way you jump it. So it will disappear, but you jump the barrel. And you, you won't die, so you don't have to worry about the hammer going away. Yeah, question. Do you have any sense as to the... In a, in a perfect game where everything goes your way, as to what the theoretical max score is, like, are we going to see 1.1 million? Um, uh, 1 1.1 million is well within, yeah, a reasonable game. But I think someone put it up at 1 million, was it 250, 300,000? I don't know. Dean, right. But, I mean, if you project the best score possible, I mean, I, I've gotten 14,000 on the barrel board. And you're not going to get that every every board. But you 